as this is your first news conference since your appointment, can I give you this opportunity to apologize to world leaders you may or may not have been rude to over the last 12 months and ask us what your, uh, your, your strategy is to try and rebuild trust? Look, I mean, we, I think we could all, all spend an awfully long time going over lots of stuff that uh, I've written over the last uh, 30 years of some serious issues, and, and all of which, in my view, have been taken out of context, but never mind. There's some serious issues before us today, uh, a humanitarian crisis, uh, real problems in Egypt on the uh, agenda tonight, and of course, the, the continuing uh, crisis in, in Yemen. Our ambassador, the EU in Brussels, who I just spent the evening with the other night, had the privilege of going to Oxford with Boris Johnson. And in fact, Boris Johnson got him to come into the Oxford Union, of which Boris was president, and talked to me about some great experiences that they had together there. And he told me that this man is a very smart and capable man. Well, that's I can the Boris that. Johnson I can, I can that, that I have <laughs> met. And that's the Boris Johnson that I intend to uh, work with, and we intend to make good things happen together. Just stop that. That's why. That's great. Thank, thank this is, you. It's called diplomacy. That's fantastic. It's going well. It's, it's going well, John. Thank you very much. I think, I think we got through that one all right. Um, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary of State. You've accused the current U.S. President, Barack Obama, of harboring a part Kenyan's, quote, ancestral dislike for the British Empire, uh, unquote, while claiming, uh, I think untruthfully at the time, that he didn't want a Churchill bust in the White House. You've described a possible future U.S. President, Hillary Clinton, as someone with, quote, dyed blonde hair and pouty lips and a steely blue stare, like a sadistic nurse in a mental hospital, unquote. You've also likened her to Lady Macbeth, do you take these comments back, or do you want to take them with you into your new job as some sort of indicator of the type of diplomacy you will practice? And then one for, for the Secretary of State. Um, given that Mr. Uh, Johnson led a campaign that your government uh, viewed pretty universally as uh, detrimental to UK, EU, and even US interests, what confidence do you have that as Foreign Secretary, Mr. Johnson, will represent the interests of anyone but himself? Is the Mr. Johnson you saw during the referendum campaign what the UK, EU, and US needs right now at a time of so many challenges? I, I couldn't hear the last sentence of that. Is, is uh, the Mr. Johnson you saw campaigning before the referendum the type of man you think the UK, the EU, and the US needs right now at a time of so many challenges? Thank yeah. you. Okay, you want me to go first? Uh, let, I, you, you want to go? go? Well, just, just to, to thank you for giving me an opportunity really to re repeat uh, a point that I, I made earlier on. I, I'm afraid that in the, there is a, such a, a, a rich thesaurus now of things that I've said that have been uh, one way or another, through what alchemy I do not know, somehow misconstrued, uh, that it would really take me too long uh, to engage in a full global itinerary of, of apology to, to all concerned. Uh, and, and, and I think most people, most people who uh, read these things in their proper context can see exactly what was intended. And indeed, I find that uh, virtually everybody I've met so far in this job understands that very well, particularly on uh, the international scene. And uh, we have some very serious issues before us today. Uh, we have a, a, an unfolding humanitarian crisis in Syria, which, as I said earlier on, is getting worse and worse. We have to come up with some answers there. We have real problems in uh, Yemen, which are currently intractable, and uh, we have a, a burgeoning crisis uh, in Egypt. Uh, those, to my mind, are far more important than any obiter dicta uh, that you may disinter from 30 years of of journalism. The people of Britain voted. This is a democracy. We all expect a democracy. Yes, it is a fact. President Obama and I both said we thought that uh, we would be better off with uh, a continuation of UK's membership within the EU, and that's a well-known fact. But that's not the way the people of this country voted. And we respect democracy, all of us. Therefore, it is our job to implement in the best way possible what people voted for, 
and to try to guarantee that the response is, is uh, going to meet their standard, uh, not ours. That's the ultimate arbiter of this. So I am absolutely confident, yes, that uh, post-referendum, uh, that uh, we're going to work together and we talked about specific things that we need to do to try to avoid the negative consequences and work on the positive ones. And, and, and I do know this, as I said earlier, and I'm not throwing this away as a casual comment of diplomacy, but I believe that uh, Secretary Johnson brings considerable intellect and value, values to this uh, initiative, and I look forward to working with him. Mr. Foreign Secretary, I understand that you don't want to revisit uh, the past, perhaps, but you have an unusually long history of uh, wild exaggerations and, frankly, outright lies that I think few foreign secretaries have prior to this job. And I'm just wondering how Mr. Kerry and others should believe what you say, considering this very, very long history. And, and um, Mr. Kerry, I, think I, gonna, I, I, think gonna, I, I appreciate the First Amendment in, 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 in your right to free speech, but I think we need chapter and verse on, 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 on this stuff. I'm, you know, uh, sorry. You, well, go ahead. Yeah, this sorry, is, yeah. this yeah. is what you would do if you yeah. were in my place. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, look, I mean, I will, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just Let's go. Uh, re repeat my, uh, my point, uh, which is that uh, you know, I think people are, are more than welcome to, uh, to rake over stuff I've written over many, many years, but I think the most important thing is to get on with the very heavy agenda we have before us today and uh, to try and sort out, if we can, some of the intensifying problems we're seeing, particularly in, in Syria. I think most, most, most people uh, who are paying their taxes uh, would rather that those were our priorities.